Ikaw na yan. <laughs> Letter for you. Okay. Oh. A letter to my loved one. Oh my... I don't know where to start this. I'm crying writing this letter to you. Oh my, the most special person in my life. I wanted to take a moment to express the sacrifices you've made, the struggles, the everyday exhaustions, and to all the things you've done. Just provide us your love and support to keep me and my older siblings feel accompanied every day. I know that you are not telling me how you feel, but I can see how many bruises you try to hide from us. I'm hurting inside knowing what you've been through just to raise us. As a youngest child for a family, I grow up as I witness how our home filled with love and joy. But seeing my older siblings having their own responsibilities, family, having their own house and leaving me behind is the worst part of being born. So I'll be the one who's there for Ome and Abi and they are always there for my ups and downs. Ome, you are the strongest and the sweetest woman in my eyes since day one. The countless hours and the days you spent helping me prepare my clothes, my breakfast, how you iron my school uniform in high school days, how you helped me for my school project, listening to my worries, and how you still treat me like a child even though I'm grown up now. I'm trying my best to be a good daughter to you. I'm really proud of how you handle the treatment of our relatives to you by being talked to behind your back. I will never give the respect to those people who did and said bad things about you. I know you've been through so much. I watch you cry, fight all your silent battles. I watch you struggle after everything you went through. You still manage to be here for me and for my older siblings every time. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You always make an effort to be a great mother and tries to understand my interests. When I'm sick, you are always there to help me. You may not be able to provide what I want now because of financially unstable, but you will always be the best <laughs> You always have a special spot in my heart that nobody could replace. You are the biggest and the most precious blessing that Allah gives me as I grow up. Seeing you and Abby get older each day, seeing you getting weak, having more gray hairs, weighs on me so much. It hurts me. Ome, I'm sorry when I was. I'm sorry when. I once accidentally raised my voice to you. I didn't mean to. I feel bad afterwards. I'm sorry I wasn't good enough to make you feel great, but <coughs> I feel great for being a daughter, but I'm desperately trying my best to study hard. I need to make you both proud with my own achievement, just like how proud we are to Ate. You two are my biggest reason why I need to be successful at the any cost. Ya Allah, grant my parents the highest in Jannah and protect them always and please give me enough time to give my parents their dream life and so I can pay all their hard work. I mean. <laughs> Amen.